guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for hanging out for another Friday Technique lesson. I'm going to show you a little acoustic blues, little run lick that's really versatile. And uh, speaking of acoustic blues, if you like fresh new acoustic blues lessons, I have a Marty Music Acoustic Blues Super Class. And uh, the first comment uh, will take you right there. And I really appreciate that extra support, you guys. All right, this lick uh, uses the E blues scale. And it's like a little tag. And there's a lot of variations, and you can pop it into your blues. Now, it works with electric blues too, but it's a nice one for acoustic blues. So, the part of the blues scale that we're going to use is starts right here. And that's an E note, a root. Okay, and let's just go down the blues scale first. Two, O, oh, and then on the A string, two, one, O. Oh. Then three on the low E. Okay, so a couple of tips right off the bat without embellishing that, that little uh, lick there. Instead of the open root, you can play a chord. You can play the power chord. Now another move is the open E, then the octave, that second fret of the D. So watch that. You could skip the open E and go from the third fret over to that octave up. So we also had, uh, we had the chord and variations of the E7 or an E power chord. Then we had, Then we had skipping the open E, like that. So now, so we're going to go 2 1 on the A string, then it's going to be an open A, quick hammer on pull off on the first fret. So. See that? But immediately after that pull off, you grab that third. Like that. Followed by those choices, open E, the octave, the chord. So then, that has a variation. You go all the way to the open, then the hammer on pull off between the, the zero and the one.
So the first one, there was no open A. We went... You know, it is an open A for the hammer-on pull-off, but the second one, the variation... First one... Variation now... So you're going to want to work on those. So then another thing is just the open A, hammer on pull off, to that third fret of the low E. Okay, so that brings me to one final concept is just taking what we did up, up to this point and then just repeating parts of it, right? So the first part, let's say I just go. it way into a 12 bar blues you could start with uh the the three chords of the e blues e7 a7 and b7 and don't worry about it being perfect 12 bar you can just let it be wide open as you work through the ideas and just keep working that concept then get that lick in and then switch to the A7. Maybe a little land of A7. And then you got the B7. Try some of those ideas. All right, there it was. Thanks again. I uh, really appreciate you uh, supporting. Uh, me right here at Marty Music. Also, that first comment down there will take you to my new acoustic blues class. So thanks for that as well. Uh, hope to see you again real soon, and have a good one.